Hey, Indian guy. Come here. Talk to me. You talk to me. Tony, are you talking to me? <laughs> I can hardly hold her. That's really funny. <laughs> You turn the camera on and people start freaking out, man. They don't know. It's like all of a sudden, I can't be myself. I am not understanding why he has the camera. <laughs> this, my friends, is Vinkat Ramani. I will leave his last name off there because I know. Because he's linguistically challenged. Yeah. I cannot speak the English. So this is like a brother to me. Our relationship goes back 20 years. You've probably, anybody that knows me has probably heard Vin's stories. And every once in a while, we are in the same location and we meet for lunch where he can make fun of my weight and I can tell him. <laughs> you just need a pair of ears, that's all. A wide pair of ears. Just whatever you had to blab, but I got to listen. See, I got him fresh out of college and I started asking him all kinds of, because if you've ever met me, I'm the kind of guy that I don't want to know what the propaganda says about the country. I want to know what the people say about the country. What was like, so I ask him all kinds of questions like, you guys don't have sit down toilets, do you? <laughs> yes, he <you> did. <laughs> I said, what about toilet paper? Tell me, is what I hear real? Nope, it's all on the hand, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had all kinds, so I get him fresh out of college and we're, our jobs are one where you get to get in a car for two, three hours and drive to a location. And so we, I would just be pummeling him with questions. And then eventually it just broke the ice so much that we were like brothers. And, uh, and it's been that way ever since. And our relationship has been mutually beneficial for both of us. So Absolutely. And I used to ask a lot of questions to Tony. And I also learned how rednecks are. <laughs> I would tell him, if you want to learn American English, you have to watch Seinfeld. I remember we all went to Indiana one time, and with our, that old boss, and Tony was in a hurry to get out of the dinner. Eight o'clock Seinfeld, eight o'clock Seinfeld, it was a Thursday, I guess. <laughs> and I said, what the hell is, who is Seinfeld? You gotta and he watch told it. me that it's called a show. And I said, how can you be addicted to a show? What is there in a show? <laughs> but guess what, even today, when a Seinfeld come, I stop everything and I watch the whole show and get a kick out of it. And there's a... <laughs> I think Americans don't realize how much slang we talk. You know, like 80% of our language is slang. Like, what's up? What's up? That doesn't make any sense grammatically. Yeah, I know. Like, a semi. What the hell is a semi? <laughs> a know. semi? It's half of a vehicle, I guess. Oh, like what? Why do they call it a semi? See, in the UK, they call it a lorry. A semi. I, mean, I still, I still want to know why is it a semi? So we're gonna. He, he lives over in Ohio, and eventually we'll all load up and we'll put our families together, and it will be awkward as crap for everybody except us. We'll just laugh at him. So <laughs> <laughs> our girls are about the same age, and so we're gonna have to get together over there. Do you know you you live over there by Wright Patterson Air Force Base? Have you snuck on? They got secret. They got an alien over there. <laughs> They got a spaceship. Don't laugh, man. Check the internet, man. I'm telling you, that's real, man. Everything on the internet's real. <laughs> okay, Vince got all quiet because there's people around. Yeah, you don't want to be the boisterous yeah. Indian. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to move you a little closer. Because he gets all like, he's a shy man. Yeah, and not, not only that, he doesn't understand. <laughs> right. People think we are gay guys hiding out. As yeah. soon as you go, somebody's going to shoot Vince's you. He's been gay like for me for like 20 years. <laughs> like a border. <laughs> <laughs> just, a, just, just, just admit it. Man. You're in love. Oh my kids are going to be watching this. They have no idea what you're talking about. I know they have. They will explain the joke to you. They were raised here. They get it. Even if they keep a straight face and don't let you know they know, they know. Why do you call the human being raised here? We call it to a pigs and animals. Like I raised my kid. What is that all about? Getting the corn or something? 
No, that, that's true, man. My kids are my spawn. They're my uh, brood. And as soon as they're old enough, we put them to pasture. <laughs> See, kids, you don't raise with the corn and maize. You, yeah, you raise sure. them with love and passion. Don't they? Same they as you with a dog. Come here. Oh, come on. Yeah, then oh, you'll sleep you. with a dog in the same bed. Come on. Give me a break. Do you remember I asked you? <laughs> so when you were a kid growing up in India, <laughs> did you ever ponder life on other planets? Look up at the stars? Yeah, he and... asked me the crazy question. And what did would you, you say? I said, don't even there are other things to worry about in life. About our food and water. Who cares if there is somebody out there? Only Americans worry about who is living elsewhere. Nobody else. The world doesn't really care. They care about food. And you told me some stories also. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe your parents might see this because yeah, your, your daughters will share it on the internet. But um, what about stealing the uh, your dad's tractor, rolling it down the driveway yeah. quietly, yeah. starting it? So just like American kids, man, he used to police, yeah. steal his dad's vehicle and go joyride in the town, yeah. have it back in the garage with 10,000 more miles in the morning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, eight miles to go. Then the thing is, when you go out, what we do is we normally put a pillow and uh, fake like we are sleeping. It's only 110 degrees. And then you put a big blanket on top of it. <laughs> uh, and for, uh, you know, uh, go to bed. And on the night, they will, anyway, the light is so dim, they think you're sleeping underneath the blanket. You show up at 12 o'clock, slowly go there and try to pull it, and your dad is sleeping out there. <laughs> Normally, you get the immediate whoop, and it's over with no. the same day. You get a few whoops, then you're done. Yeah. All right, we're gonna just, uh, I have my Indian friend, and we're gonna call him, and then we're gonna call Tammy, and we'll put them both on speaker, and just let them have a conversation they've never met. You want to say Tammy? Let's hear. Tammy. Hello, how are you? This is when this is the nice guy coming from the country of Gandhi who insulted by saying your mama. I can tell you you will never get a job in tech support. <laughs> never insult another Indian, alright? You owe me an apology. Don't be like Tony. Because they all know each other, right? Yeah. <laughs> Any company you try to get in, he'll make a call. <laughs> my name is Vinka Doramani. Yep. I even today I tell anybody who can't say my full name, don't be linguistically challenged. Say it. It's not, you're not going to break it. You can say it. <laughs> and, I remember the one time because everybody, uh, wherever you'd work, they'd want to call you Vin. And you're like, I got a beautiful name, man. It's very long. Pretty soon you're just going to call me by one letter. V. V, yeah. But even today, you know, my family is not liking me called Van. You know why? Because it's a family name or something? No, it's called a Venka Dramani means remover of sins. Van means sin. Oh, so, so they just took the sin me, part. Yeah, sin. Come here, you know what the... uh, Do it American uh, in Walmart this year. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Come on, you've been here 20 years. I know you can. I can do a pretty good yeah, Indian. No have... sipping the Slurpees. Hey, can I put this on layaway? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what a layaway was. <laughs> I still have a hard time figuring out. That's because the majority of America lives paycheck to paycheck. But still, it must really be laying it away. You gotta, focus, you gotta poke my whole culture in the part of the herbs, man. <laughs> we still haven't figured out how to handle money. <laughs> then, he has the gray hair. <laughs> his speciality is his brain. <laughs> And my love for mankind, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and one day he's going to become a big director out. So no, just the other day. I said on, uh, I said on, uh, 
on my Facebook. I know you don't have a Facebook. Yeah. He's a he's a totally a technical Indian that I has got a book with a paper book. and under the face. He could link computers uh, worldwide, but he doesn't like the Facebook because it's too much drama. And kids are getting spoiled, so I'm not on Facebook. You got to, you know, That's Seinfeld. for Seinfeld, yes. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. So I just put the other day, though, that I meet every pe every person I meet. I meet, you know, in their eyes, and I make a call on them as uh, not based on skin color or culture or anything like that. I mean, my whole life is like that. And uh, a jerk's a jerk, man. I don't care what color they are. And then he always tells, like, a sign for you remember? George would tell he has a black friend in somebody. He got a black friend from there. Hey, by the way, I need you to come meet the boss, man. He thinks I'm a racist. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. Because <laughs> that's what yeah. George did. George yeah. tried to take him to dinner. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> do we all look, do we all look the same to you? Yeah, that's what I to me. It's white not, and fat. Is that uh, what you see when you see me? No, white but, and fat. But my mom said, "Why are all these people looking the same?" That's the day I understood why every Indian looks the same. But Tony, I could spot you in a crowd. <laughs> Let's be clear on that. And your wife. Those are probably the two. I, I, <laughs> Everybody else looks the same. Give me 10,000 Indians and I'll say, there's Vin. Look right there. Vin. And I'll start yelling. And you'll be like, I do not know the white fat guy. <laughs> you know what? It, it is funny we say that because I, mean, I can spot a same way you everywhere. You know, who else is going to be like this? All right. <laughs> what? <laughs>